Yo, what's up, everybody? It is Tuesday, August 20th. Market's down a little bit. I don't know if any of you have heard of this kid named Alex Honold. Honold. He is a very famous free climber. You know, he's, he's a climber. He's a rock climber. He does a lot of free rock climbing without any kind of gear. And it was like, uh, obviously, extremely, extremely perilous. Many of these free climbers have died. Very famous free climbers have died. Young kid. And I saw a video that he did recently where he talked about how important it is or how transformational, that's my word, I'll use that word, how transformational it is in your own life to expose yourself to danger. Now, you may not want to go to his level where literally the danger facing him is death, okay? But, like, I'll give you an example. I started taking up boxing what, uh, about a year ago, 10, 11 months ago. I talked to you guys about my boxing experience. Today, one of the things I like about boxing is, of course, I like you know the physical activity. It's been great, although I've, I've kept in shape my whole entire life between sports and lifting weights and stuff like that. I'm 67 years old. The boxing had another dimension to that. It's really given me a lot of cardio. It's fantastic. But the other thing is that danger element. Like, you know, since I've been sparring, which I have to say, since I moved to Florida, I started sparring when I had my boxing gym in California in LA, but we were doing that once a week, maybe sometimes twice a week, but it was basically once a week. Here we're doing it every single day. I'm sparring every single day. And, you know, I go into that sparring session and I'll get to the markets in a minute. For those of you who are waiting for my commentary on the markets, I get to that sparring session with anxiety. I gotta be honest, the anxiety doesn't go away just because I've been sparring now for a couple of months every single day. I have anxiety every single day about, uh, about sparring. And when I actually get into that ring, I get hit. Like I get hit hard. Like today I sparred with this kid, he's a young kid, he's, uh, he's a senior in high school, very athletic. I mean, he beat the crap out of me, okay? I got a 50-year difference between him and me. I'm not trying to use that as an excuse. I think for my age, I'm in really good shape. I'm bigger than the kid was. I'm stronger than the kid was. But he got some good licks in on me. And for me, that's the danger that I face every day. You might laugh at that, like, Mike, that's not danger. You're not going to die, et cetera, et cetera. But well, I think the point that Alex Honnold was making is that put yourself in uncomfortable situations. Now, what we do as investors, as traders, I, I, sometimes I don't even like to use the, phrase, the, the term traders because that implies a short-term mentality and you know I'm against that. There are different ways to um, subject yourself to discomfort. What I used to do, which I don't recommend, and which I, what I think many of you do still do this, is you like to put on a big position to try to make money really, really fast. And that's the danger element. It's a gambling mentality. It's like I'm going to plunk down. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push my whole, uh, my whole stake onto the table, and let, I'm going to roll the dice, and let's see what happens. That's a kind of a risk uh, approach that I don't recommend. The other way to do it, to expose yourself to discomfort, remember, we're talking about discomfort, not necessarily danger, but discomfort, okay? I'm, I'm maybe um, refining a little bit what Alex Honnold said, because he said, look, when you put yourself in a, in a position of danger, then like ordinary things, like he said, when you go to the airport, and you get stressed out, like, oh man, I gotta go through TSA, and I don't know if my plane's gonna be on time, and what if I get bumped off the plane? Like, he said, when you put yourself through situations like that, where you're really exposed to danger, where something threatens you, like going to the airport, where you're in this, this climate control environment, there's food everywhere, you're protected, you don't have anything to worry about, so you miss your plane, big deal, so it takes a little bit longer to go through the TSA. 
That's what he was trying to bring out. Like those things are so insignificant. And we have to try to practice this mentality or develop this mentality when it comes to trading and investing. And so I said, there's two ways that we can, we can uh, impart or, or put the danger on us. Number one is that you can, you can go the gambling route. You could go the speculative route where you say, okay, I'm gonna put on a massive position because there's a number coming out tomorrow and I'm gonna make big money in one day. I don't recommend that. I just think that's, that's pure speculation, it's pure gambling. And for me, that's not the way to build wealth over time. The other way to put stress on yourself, and believe me, it is stressful, is, is to have patience and, and have a longer term mentality because you have to ride through these periods where maybe nothing is happening, or maybe even worse, that things are going against you. And you have to have perspective, you have to have a commitment to what you are doing, you have to have an understanding of what is going to play out, and you have to be able to stick to your guns. That is another way to put yourself through this, and, and that is the way that I personally advise, that you put yourself in a situation where you force yourself to be patient, where you force yourself to be disciplined, where you force yourself to ride out the longer term view. That's where the big, that's where wealth creation happens, okay? So there's a lot of examples, where, uh, you know, things come to me every single day. I, I can watch a video, I can listen to somebody talk, I can read something. Things come to me every single day which I can incorporate into this idea of what we do, what we do as investors. And, you know, like, it's interesting because, and I've said this before, it transcends whatever particular field we're in. If we're investors, if we're in, uh, I don't know, corporate America, if we're entrepreneurs, if we're in management, if we're employees, it doesn't matter, okay? If we're student, it doesn't matter. These are all basic principles that we can apply. And a lot of times we lose focus of this stuff and we get so micro and we think, okay, I'm, it's crossing the line. I got to do this. I got to do that. No, it's all about behavior. It's all about the big picture. And it's all about, you know, having that emotional self-control. All right, let me talk about the markets today. Not a lot going on. We had a little pullback in all three averages. Everybody's waiting for Powell's speech at Jackson Hole. I think uh, he's going to talk on Friday. Uh, as I said yesterday, uh, anything positive on the interest rate front, we're going to get a pop up. All this stuff is meaningless. I told you this yesterday. All this stuff is meaningless because we have to wait for the rate cuts. And once the rate cuts start, then we have to allow that to have its impact. And what I've been telling you, which nobody else has been telling you, that the effect of the rate cuts is not going to be what is the expectation that exists right now. Everybody thinks the rate cuts are going to be bullish. Everybody thinks the rate cuts are going to be inflationary. Everybody thinks the rate cuts are going to be bullish for gold. Every, right now, gold is in, is in a pattern that you can trade. Oil is in a pattern that you can trade. I sent that out in my emails to my subscribers. What is the pattern? Sign up for the report. I'll tell you what the pattern is. By the way, I always forget, please like and subscribe. Guys, you've been doing a great job. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe. Um, in the short term, they're trading. If, you, if you're into that, there are trading opportunities. The interesting thing, what I keep saying is we're going to get into a very interesting period that's going to play out over 2025, the whole next year is that rate cuts are going to add to, are going to be get more rate cuts, are going to, add, are going to create more uh, fiscal drag on the economy. It's going to slow the economy down further. And the very thing, mark my words, folks, because nobody else is telling you this. The very thing that everybody is saying is going to boost the economy and, and uh, uh, turn the slowdown around will be exactly the opposite effect, just like the interest rate increases were exactly the opposite effect on the economy. So you have the ability, you have a potential now, you have the opportunity now 
to position yourself to take all these other people's money who believe in the wrong understanding. So what do you choose to do? That's my question. If you choose to go with the, the, um, the masses, okay, feel free to do so. If you choose to go with the correct understanding of what the effect of monetary policy changes are, in other words, AKA what I, Mike Norman, am telling you, then you gotta come over here, okay? It's up to you. All I try to do here is educate, all right? All I try to do here is educate, and a lot of you, I know this from the comments, and I've said this in the past, if you go back and you look at my early videos, I don't know, I did like 1,500, I don't know how many, I did like a 2,000 videos, they were so, so negative, every single one, the commentaries, the thumbs down, etc., because people were locked in on this mentality, this kind of uh, gold bug, Peter Schiff kind of mentality. A lot of you has been, have been educated. Maybe many of you don't post comments, but I could see from the comments that, uh, the comments that uh, there's been a, a rise in the level of understanding. And that is very gratifying to me, very, very gratifying to me. So here's the, um, I, I, I guess, the lesson from this video. Make yourself uncomfortable, always, even if it has nothing to do with investment, like go out, do something hard. You know, I always tell my kids, if you're faced with a decision, you know what decision to take? Take the one that's hard. There's no such thing as a bad decision. You learn from every decision. You know something, I, I just finished reading a, a biography of Winston Churchill. I think I mentioned this a couple of times. The guy was, arguably the greatest leader of the 20th century, his, his mantra, his creed, his credo, was that you make a decision and you let the consequences work themselves out. And, and that process itself equates to growth, personal growth, emotional growth, physical growth. That's what you gotta do. So yeah, you could plunk down everything or mortgage your house on a one day trade or a one week trade thinking, hey, I'm rolling the dice. Yeah, let's go seven, seven, here we go. I'm not into, you know, I, I don't advise gambling. Some of you maybe get turned on by it. I've spoken about this so many times that the motivation for most people is not making money. It's the action, it's the excitement. That's what they're really seeking. I'm here to make money, to make wealth, to try to help you to make money, to make wealth. You want to put yourself into a difficult, uncomfortable situation? Learn how to ride things out. Learn how to be patient. Patience in our society today, in the, in the age of the internet and social media and you know five second attention spans, that's a very hard thing to do. I challenge you to do that. I challenge you to do that. And I promise you, you'll come out on the other side very, very happy. Anyway, that's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Go to my website, pitbulleconomics.com. Sign up for a 30-day free trial of MMT Trader. See you tomorrow. Bye.